Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be showing off a Zippo that I genuinely really, really, really like. Uh, I really like the Zippo. I can't go off about how much I like it, to be honest with you. Uh, I use it all the time. I keep it out and available. And uh, it is the Nautical Tattoo Design uh, 49532. Uh, amazing Zippo. Uh, you've probably seen it in my unboxing video already, but I like this Zippo so much I've just felt like it deserved its own video I, I really really did and uh, so I'm just gonna be talking about it here today and showing it off first thing you're gonna notice it comes in the premium box and what you notice about the premium box you can see the top you can see the sides in it it just really magnifies and makes it really look cool uh, this is one of my favorite 540s that Zippo has to offer right now I feel it's one of the most highest quality and detail uh, and it, just the imagery everywhere and like so I just showed it all to you right the whole 540 thing now What makes a 540 a 540 a lot of people have been asking this what's the difference between a 360 and a 540? Well, let me show you this is the best way. I know how to explain it. It's the only way I can figure out how to explain it uh, This is a 540 right? 180 360 540 <laughs> that's the, that's the best way i can describe it i don't and like so when you're seeing a 360 carve it's just because it goes all the way around right uh and then when they don't mention the term 360 they'll just mention deep carve and then that is the one side engraved uh so that's all the different variables i can think of off the top of my head right now and for anybody who's a little confused i hope that shed some light on it but now i've already flipped this around twice and i'm going to show you something you're going to find detail in it every time you flipped around you didn't know it was there so i'll show you this first one okay see we can see at the bottom here time and tide wait for no man cool saying everything like that in the sword you get a hand a sword handle on each side uh you get the detail, you get the compass, you get the pirate skull with the patch, you get the bird. Uh, it's, a, it's symbolism and nautical themes having that bird. And uh, you get the ship crashing through the waves and that old tattoo style, uh, which was very famous. And like, I think it was, it got really big in California too. Like the, it was before then somewhere else, but like California kept it popular, right? Because uh, California tends to set trends back in the day. Uh, and then just the flowers on the on the side there you got the hourglass in the anchor and see the skull on the bottom and the anchor on top this is all has all symbolic meaning like uh, especially the hourglass with the anchor and the skull like that is and then i just love the script of zippo on the top here that just looks cool i really like that script uh it's beautiful it's perfect uh this this whole zippo comes together and i'm gonna tell you something I am not a nautical person. I'm not a sailor. I've never been to the ocean, okay? And I love the Zippo. And I'm not a nautical theme guy because, like, I, I'm just I'm a mainlander. Uh, the people in Newfoundland would call me. <laughs> like, I'm I'm not I'm not a sea uh, sea worthy guy here. But uh, I love the Zippo. It, it's amazing. It's one of the best five forties they've ever made. I, I strongly stand behind that. And I'll, I'll show you an example. Uh, this is my favorite Zippo. It's an everyday carry of mine. It's the 540 Wolf design. I have it in my pocket here. Uh, yellow flame torch. Love the yellow flame torch. Uh, as you can see here, look, there's details on the side, but not as much. There's not as much going on on the fronts and sides, on the front and back, as there is on the sides. Like, see this? Like, this whole side basically has nothing. This whole side basically has nothing. Now, that's not a problem. That's not a bad thing from Zippo or anything. I'm not trying to say that. What I'm just trying to say is, this picture works great on a 540. Yes, I love the Zippo, uh, but the amount of details you can put in with themes like that, uh, you know, it, it look, there's nothing on the top either. Uh, it's just it's just pretty plain Jane all around the edges. Now, does that mean I don't like the lighter? No, I choose to carry this one every day because I love it so much. Like uh, there, I'm not trying to say anything bad about it. I'm just saying, like, see the detail you get on that one. Uh, this picture, though, whoever the artist is and stuff, they Zippo decided to put it on a 540, and it works, and it looks great. It's my favorite lighter. I have two of them. I <laughs> trust me. If, if I didn't like this lighter, I wouldn't have two of them. Uh, so, like I was saying, love this 540 though because of the detail. Uh, other Zippos do have the detail, but they tend not to be. They tend to just be pictures. 
Uh, like the other ones that I'm talking about that go all the way around, like I Spy, is just like a bunch of different pictures. And I also hold that Zippo in high regards too. It's very nice 540. It's uh, also one of my favorites. I don't even own it. I just like the look of it. Uh, but it's just a bunch of pictures mashed together all around it. Like that's okay. Like this all ties into each other. You know what I mean? Like this, this is seamless, it seems like. And it just all ties into each other. It all fits. Uh, I would love, love, love to see more designs like this from Zippo because... Uh, this is just amazing. And this is just to show you what like they can do now and what's coming with 540s. I just can't wait to see more high detail 540s. I've truly fallen in love with them. I've gotten quite a few already. Uh, they came out with, uh, they came out with the, uh, where is it here? I have it sitting around. This one right here. They came out with the snake skin also, and uh, it's the rattlesnake skin. And I love that one too. Uh, it's a great one, but what made me upset is now they've released a black python skin. <laughs> like, it looks sick. Like, I need that one so bad, and now I'm going to have to get that one. Uh, the black python skin looks cool. I, I like them both just because I think snake skin's cool in general. Uh, you know, I just when you see when you're out in the bush and you see a snake skin shad, you're like, oh, cool. You know, you pick it up. And, I don't know. It's just a fun experience. But uh, the black python looks so sick. Like, that's a zippo I'd carry every day. Uh, so when. When it's available on Zippo.ca, I will be ordering that one right away. You'll be able to see a video on that. But regardless, guys, I really think you should get the uh, nautical tattoo theme here. It's just, it's amazing. I keep the single torch in it. Uh, I love the Zippo single torch. I use it a few times a day. Uh, it's just got to get warmed up. You probably see me clicking a bunch there. It's just got to get warmed up. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I guess I wasn't pressing down hard enough. Yeah, I read that. That people were saying that they have to press down hard. It seems like that's the thing now. But I've had this torch for over a year, and it still works every time I ever want to use it. You might have seen me jigging around in here. Uh, I'm filming this in a basement. This was in a basement. It's cool. It's cool in the basement. So this thing is cold. Like if this is in my pocket, it'd, it'd work every time. Don't judge it based on this experience because it's cold down here, right? All my butane uh, inserts do that. Uh, the one I just showed you, the wolf one, has been in my pocket. It's, it, the whole Zippo you could feel is warm because of my body heat. This has just been sitting here cooling off. Uh, if I kept it in my pocket, it would work the same. But so, guys, if you have a 540 or anything like that, let me know in the comments. If you have this one, let me know uh, what you think about it, how you like it, how it's holding up. Uh, and just like as you want to see, too, like the 540 here, I don't see any scratches on this thing. I've dropped this thing a ton. This is my everyday carry. Uh, I drop it all the time. Uh, you can even see like the uh, the little bit of coating that gets left on the hinge there. Uh, here, I haven't used this Zippo. Uh, you can see it's come off a little bit. See how it's it's still got like snakeskin pattern on there. Like uh, this has come off a bit. Uh, which is fine. I don't care. It's just a coating on the hinge. You're going to open it. It's going to come off. But this thing is held up well. Like it doesn't have one scratch. Like, that's part of the image there. That's not what you think. You know, it's just like uh, bright spots there. This thing has been held up well. I love the feel of them, too. Uh, they're so smooth. Uh, and they seem to be holding up really, really well. That's what I'm a big fan of and why I've actually decided to like them. Because I wasn't a big fan of coated Zippos and things that were painted on. Because, like, you know, I, I use them hard. That's why I like an all-metal finish. Because I use them hard. So, the all-metal finish is really good. I have to say, these uh, these 540s last pretty well. I'm pretty impressed. Uh, someone in the comments said they did drop one from a moving vehicle and it got scratched. But that, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. But, uh, you know, just for everyday wear and tear, you know, being gentle with her, you're not going to do anything to it. I And like I said, I bring this out and use it all the time. It does not have a scratch on it doesn't have a scratch on it it's been holding up and the person who gave it to me thomas i know he has one too and he uses it every day too and uh he's been using his for months and uh he says it doesn't have any scratches on it either it had well held up well uh thomas had gifted me uh, gifted me this uh he sent it to me in the mail as a gift <laughs> what a, what a generous gift that was so cool of him so uh thanks to thomas again shout out to you buddy and everyone else i hope you enjoyed the video and uh if you're getting one let me know in the comments i'll see you in the next one